Hello and welcome to this BizMates for Beginners video series. And today's phrase is, I'd rather not say. I'd rather not say. What does this mean? We will find out, but first, let's do our test. Okay, so I say to you, you know, I read that happier people live longer. Isn't that silly? And you say? That's right. It's been scientifically proven. I said, really? I didn't know. I hope you got that. Okay, let's go to today's phrase. I'd rather not say. Okay? So, this is what I often hear though. So, let's imagine Taro and I are colleagues and Taro has a new smartphone. Or, or yeah, a new smartphone. And he says, yeah, my, other, my old smartphone broke. It was broken. So, I say, Taro, how did you break your smartphone? What happened? And he's a little bit embarrassed. He doesn't want to tell me. And he says, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to tell you. Yeah, you don't want to tell me? But why? Why is it a secret? Why, why me? Okay, so this is kind of direct. I don't want to tell you. Maybe I will tell other people, but not you. It has that kind of meaning. Okay, so I don't feel so good. Okay, so in this case, Taro can say this. So I say, how did you break your smartphone? What happened? And he says, yeah, I'd rather not say. Very natural. Okay, so if someone asks you a question, it's a little bit sensitive or personal, you don't want to answer, you can say, I'd rather not say. Look, it's very polite, okay? But I don't want to tell you is a little bit direct. You see the difference? Okay, so let's practice pronunciation. It's not I'd rather not say, but it's I'd rather not say. I'd rather not say. That T is really soft, almost silent. Okay? You try. I'd rather not say. Good. With my question? So, how did you break your smartphone? Okay, no problem. All right, for homework. Next time, I'm going to ask you, how did you break your smartphone? You don't want to answer? You say? I'd rather not say. Please remember this, and we will see you next time. Thank you.